It's time, guys. It's the one Quanti challenge. Who's ready? New buffs to Quanti. Um, not really that great of buffs, like overall, but it might help a little bit to get him a little further. Like for one, projectile speed has been increased, so now it doesn't whiff as often. It still whiffs, but hey, it's a little better now. So aside from the base projectile speed, um, his level 7 exploding arrow now ricochets after the explosion. So you know how, like, whenever he gets level 7, whenever his arrows explodes, you know, watch here, see how it bounces? It doesn't bounce, it only explodes. Which obviously, sucks. Apparently you can get a little higher, someone tried this already, they said they got to 39, so I'll see if I can get past 39. No, the, ex the explosion doesn't bounce, it's only the arrow, but it does add a good amount of damage, regardless. If his explosions, like, bounced, can you imagine how broken that would be? Four explosions, chain in. Heroes gain more XP the harder the map, are you sure? They do? Oh shit. So are you saying that there might be a better map than Logs? Potentially. If so, that's news to me. But I'm not sure what advanced uh, media map would be better. Because you kind of do need the long length of the map, especially for Quincy. I cannot believe I didn't know this. Hard hold a mappy that was just a straight path, top to bottom? Uh, not hard. It would probably be advanced, depending on what the terrain is around it. Because like, if you can't place any towers close to the track, then yes. That would make it pretty tough, maybe expert level. But that's basically what Dark Castle is right now. Except Dark Castle is a little bit shorter, because of the fact that it actually exits um, before it hits the edge of the track. The edge of the screen, you know, when it goes into the drawbridge. That's actually the only map that does that, weirdly enough, where the balloon spawns or exits in the middle of the map. Wouldn't mind seeing more of those, honestly, or any maps like Cargo, because holy shit, the plot twist. I mean, we're used to it now, but when, when it came out, I was like, holy shit, this is groundbreaking. But yeah, with that said, I don't think there's any other map that would be worth the, uh, the XP increase in exchange for the difficulty increase. I can get him right now, and I think I want to, right? Let's do it. Level 7. Let's watch the piercing exploding arrows. How's it going for us? Yes, yeah, you see here, it's very, very, very hard to notice, but you do see when it explodes, I'll slow down. The arrows do move oh so slightly. You gotta have a keen eye to see it, but the buff is there. Anyways, the other buffs are to level 10, level 20 ability, um, which probably won't be relevant, but we'll see if we get that far. So, I'll need the ability real soon. Come on. Loons are about to exit. Use it. Alright. Ability coming in clutch there. Okay, so here's what I'm looking for. Level 9. I don't think I ever got this before, did I? Because what, Quincy got up to level 35 before dying last time, or 37? Don't remember, but I think it was one of those. Anyways. Um, I do need to use the ability, right? Right now? I'm hoping to get the ability back for 35. But I don't know if that time was too early, too late. Either way, we will definitely survive this round with a lot of room to spare. How much cooldown do I get back? If it's more than halfway, I'll take it. If not, then... Uh, give up. Uh, that's good enough, that's good enough. Okay. That's most of the way there. I'll gladly take it. So, level 9. Do we buy it? Yes. I say yes. And I'm assuming you gotta use the ability? Yeah, I'll use it. Just to be safe. But man, that cooldown is so long for his uh, arrows. Best hope that we don't need for 36. And at this point, yeah, those pinks though. Rip our spikes. Let's use the ability real quick. Just came up in time. Hopefully 37 doesn't kick us in the ass. It's okay, we link a few lives, but we need the ability now. Pronto. Come on, spam one. There we go. Man, it's just gonna keep having every every game, isn't it? Every round. We're gonna be activating the ability panic at the last round. And then we're going to be waiting for the cooldown, the entirety of next round. And the cycle continues. On and on and on and on. Can I beat this round without the ability? Because round 39, I'm told, is hard, if not impossible to beat. So if I survive here, I'll take it. I'll gladly take it. Um, That's going to kill us. Yeah, that's going to kill us. So how about we use the ability and then have it on the Saram Sarams. Seems like those are the issue, so there we go. But man, the ability really doesn't save us much lives, does it? 
So basically, it looks like by the end of this, we'll be halfway. Here comes the Let's Cock Lock. Am I supposed to take that? 91? I kinda have to, don't I? 67. Epic. Well, the good news is that three quarters of the cooldown came back. Unfortunately, Storm of Arrows is not in range of being purchased. Do I use it early? I will, I will. Let's use it now. Uh, Levi first. Close. Come on. Please last line of Quincy. Oh, it's off now. This looks horrible. We're so screwed. Now, uh, last. Get those rainbows before they re go to death. Back to first. 35 lives. Oh, no, it's off again. Dang it. This buff is not good enough, guys. Well, I can add a village for range, as if that does anything. I can probably get Grow Blocker 2 for the memes. I kind of wonder, what if I get a Mib, but don't buy level 9 Quincy? Do you think that would make a difference? At all? I'm giving up hope at this point, guys. <laughs> Let's use the ability now. Let's use it on the most clumped wave, so how is that sound? It just got last longer, man, that's it. This was probably the best run so far, but that's like 200 lives off. Okay, so I'm gonna call that the end for Quincy. But I want to test one thing. So if I spent 6k on a Mib and not Quincy upgrades, I would have level 8 and a Mib. Okay, so currently the Mib is... looks to be doing worse. I'm gonna use the ability now. Yeah, that's not even close. Holy shit. Terrible. Terrible. So rip. That's the end for one Quincy only. He lived a very short and brief life. Loon Mastery Episode 3. Have I played Episode 1 or 2 before? I forget. Either way, weaker shit. So max 3 towers, I see. Well, uh, we have a Super and an Alchemist, which sounds like a pretty nice uh, starting combo of 2 towers. So we get this guy, we'll need Ultra Vision to get a Tier 4 Alk buff. So first off, does it work? Currently, kind of. Ooh, that's not good. Mortar, 420. And then out buff. The Mortar Marker for the win. How many pops does it take to kill ceramics? Like two, three? Looks like three. So it might not work. There's way too many mobs here for it to work, I think. Plus too fast. I wonder if a cookie monster does the trick. Bold move, bold move. I don't believe the cross pads affect it, so I'm not gonna buy anything. Gonna wait for the cooldown and then activate ASAP. Oh shit, it pops too early. Why? <laughs> All the way on the other side. Cookie now is good? Okay. Well, I might want to put on a straight line. Because currently it chasing is not doing good. A lot of wasted attacks. But that actually almost works. So I gotta find a good spot for our straight line shenanigans. Like here? That's not bad. When it's in range, so now. Last? Oh shit, nope. It's gotta... I'm gonna keep it on last, but if anything gets far, switch quickly to first. It's actually pretty nice. Just don't time out, otherwise it's over. And it's probably gonna time out, we're just gonna die to, die to that, yeah. It timed out anyway, so that's not gonna last the entire, entire wave. Robo Monkey. Can I for this? Answer, probably not. Ooh, 490. I don't think this guy's good without knockback. Let's see. Oh wait, wait. It's not bad. Guys, that's not too shabby, but I don't have money for anything else. Which means this ain't gonna work. Sadly. Dang. Not straight enough? Yeah. How about here? That's a pretty good straightaway. And then watch the straightaway, the one arm straightaway. I never thought this would actually work. Potentially. Not saying it will, but it looks pretty promising, so let's get this guy too. AMD. As if that works, but... Come on. Nice, nice. Now for Zoom G's. Wait a minute. We're dead. Zoom G's are an issue. Splatter. Blue Soak. Oh, that's so close. Nice, nice, nice. Um... Alchemist in the corner here. Shit. No! 
Damn. Those arms really mess it up, don't they? I did not try this guy yet. And... Alkbuff. Uh, that's not bad, right? It got nerfed, but it's still pretty okay, it looks like. Just need to buy an Alkbuff and we're good to go. There we go. That's probably it, guys. This little shit. Well, that was pretty easy. And yeah, without the two arms, this makes it way easier for Zoom Gs, for sure. Alright, don't know why I didn't try this. I thought the nerf would not help it, but he doesn't care. A few lives lost, but it's fine. DTs, how we doing? Wow, that was easy. Alright, I think we found the combo, guys. Damn. Oh, wait, wait, fortified. Hold up. Well, probably a glue. Let's get ready to drop it any moment now. Actually... We can wait. Oh, nope. We gotta get one here. Uh, now? It's only a 0 1 0, though. Oh, that was kind of useless. Wait. That was so easy. That was a waste of a couple hundred bucks. We might need it this round. Splatter. Uh, three Zoom Gs left. Two. One. Yes. And. Not enough. I think a bomb race for the surrounds would be very nice. So, how about one here? Yeah, we're actually 170 off. That's not bad. Let's start microwing. 8, infinite, like this. Try to get on the right side. Good. Alright, last one. Keep it in the top right. Top right. Nice. Impressive. Fortunately, uh, camos. Can we get our ace to, uh, get him, please? Might want to reset. Yep. Oh, ODS. ODS. That's pretty good. And then, yeah, I could probably sell this guy later. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Our plan is foiled by the leads. Razor Rotors. I'm not sure that gets all uh, camos or purples, because the cycle. It might not attack fast enough. Let's see. Leave it here. It's not bad. No, no, no. <laughs> it's okay. We're leaking a few purples. 75 lives. Uh, here come leads to cock block. Oh, those lads are so annoying. Oh no, is it actually Quancy? No. Level 6 Quancy? Leave it on first or close? Nah, he sucks. Thought so. What if I sell the Alchemist for another tower? Like, we'll get a 002 or a 022. Eh? How's this? Come on. That looks solid. If you ask me. Right? Yes. And then when the DTs come, I will get an Alchemist pack. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Alright, so... And a perps. A Alchemist. Um... Can I sell for a Dark Knight? If I can. How about... Now. Dark Knight? GG. G, 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 G. G, G, G. Um, Quincy? Quincy? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't jinx it. Let's get the Quincy. The Quincy for that awesome... 60 damage. Oh, yeah. 100. Wow. Super Monkey better treat uh, Quincy to a dinner, because he just carried there. He just carried hard on 95. Anyways, that's a cool challenge. I like it. Not too easy, not too hard. Just how I like it.